You can't even walk down the sidewalk by the library. It's just cluttered with their, their crap. This is the heart of downtown Burien, 152nd Street. When you simply see open drug use, defecation, uh, needle use, uh, fighting, attacks, deaths. I mean, uh, th this seems like a like a, a horror show. La Costa Mexican restaurant has been a staple for the last 50 years. Hector Ramos, who runs the business alongside his family, has seen things change into something unrecognizable. We're looking for a new definition for what this encampment is. This isn't homelessness. Uh, this is a whole different. Um, the situation that we're going through. I'm over there here. This is video his security guys captured. A young here. woman who appears to be using drugs behind a nearby bank. Zach, you see what's going on? We approach, we all come out, and we all get them off the property. Hector says he has done everything to prevent unhoused folks from moving in, even went out and bought rocks to deter them from setting up camp. Nobody wants to see people camping in downtown here. Nobody, including the people who are camping here. They do not want to be here. This is not safe. This is a hostile area. Fox 13 captured a teen being arrested in the middle of the afternoon for open air drug use. According to King County detectives, we spoke with moments after. In the last month, four people have died in Burien streets suspected of overdose. The most recent Saturday outside City Hall. When we had our uh, daytime camping regulation, we didn't have any overdoses. The minute that the county stopped enforcing it, we've seen one every two weeks. A controversial topic spanning to now a legal battle between the city of Burien and the King County Sheriff's Office for opting not to enforce the camping ordinance. Unhoused advocates are pushing city leaders to make use of the $1 million offered by King County Regional Homelessness Authority to build a pallet or a tiny home village. The conversation started over a year ago and finally moved forward hours before the deadline expired in November. The problem now is the city's zoning permits does not allow transitional housing. Stop being political, um, get it together and actually help these people because they're just trying to survive. And, and they need help. I don't know if Barry is capable of having a, um, a, a, a center like that. I don't think we have the, we don't have the resources to fix our street. We can't manage the front of our library. We can't manage one street 152nd. How are we gonna manage a, a, a housing situation for these individuals? I mean, we're not, this city's not qualified for that. That was Fox 